Nemo Kitchen today yes. and I'm cooking rice, mm -hmm. but I'm doing kind of rice and spice because I just think it works so well together. I was just wondering if you could give me a few tips about buying cardamom. When you buy a green cardamom, well you, it's a bright green colour. When you see that the, the little pots are slightly um, lighter or slightly brownish, it means they've been exposed to the sun too long and they're not good. The next thing that I'd really like to find out a bit more about is saffron. It is as good quality is. Okay. So this is grade level A. You can see A. You can see our um, you, draw, you see how dark is it? Yeah. And then this is grade level B. So you can see Oh, it's, it's much, yes, yeah, much lighter. paler. And yellow. So I will have some Iranian, I think, um, saffron for my risotto. Good choice. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then the, the other dish I'm going to be doing um, is going to be a kind of Indonesian-inspired rice pudding. Yes. And I'm using black glutinous rice. Okay, and nice. um, I'm going to have some star anise in there, but then I'm also going to have some vanilla. Yes. Just give it that beautiful, rich flavour. I like to experiment a lot. And what I found out is when I use creamy stuff, I like to use the Madagascan one, which as the expert I will show you, you can see it's quite, um, it's not that much moisture. No, it doesn't. It's so bad to put spice in the fridge, in the refrigerator. So freezer it could be okay, yeah. but please never put into the refrigerator. It could be so bad. It doesn't. But, I, but you could keep this happily in yeah. its little tube for my, a few months. Yes. Somewhere dark. Yes, even month, even longer than a few months. It will get drier than mm -hmm. you may think, like this one. It will get slightly drier, and that's all. And when you need it, you open it and you use it. Those juices, they will always be as juicy as that. Okay, oh this well I'm amazing. really, really looking forward to using some of that in my rice pudding. <laughs> in your rice pudding you will be amazing. Okay, <laughs> thank you so much. You're welcome. Good morning everybody. Um, today I am going to be making dishes with rice. Um, and this is basmati rice, it's a long grain rice. And it's one of my favourite rices because it already has a fantastic aroma and flavour of its own. The chicken stock, one of the great things in the market, if you haven't got some chicken bones, and sometimes I want to make stock and I don't already have some chicken bones, you can actually buy the chicken carcasses in the market to make your stock with. I've got some pistachio nuts here, because for me, the beauty of a pilaf is textures as well as flavor. So what we're gonna do with the pilaf, I'm starting off, these are really lovely sweet Spanish onions. So I've got my butter there. I use unsalted butter because then it enables me to season up a dish as I want to, rather than it already having lots of salt in. And in with my onions, at the same time, I'm gonna have some cinnamon, and then I'm also gonna put some cardamom. And then the other thing that I'm gonna be putting into the pilaf, which is going to really enrich it and give it lots of lovely flavor, is some dried apricots. And then I'm gonna put that basmati rice in. So I'm putting some chickpeas into this. It's now going to cook on a high temperature. I want it to really boil. It's cook on a low temperature for about five minutes and then I'll just switch it off. I'm going to um, poach my chicken breast. So I just want that chicken to poach really, really nice and gradually in the stock. I can pull that back out and that's going to be sliced up to go into the pilaf. The other thing that we need with our pilaf is lots and lots of herbs. So um, I'm going to have plenty, plenty of parsley. I'm going to add a little bit of mint, but I'll put some more mint on the top of it. A little bit of tzatziki or raita. So I've got some Greek yogurt, and I'm just going to put a little bit of um, cucumber and mint with it. Now, I reserved some of those little bits of apricot to put around and I have some of those little Urfa chili flakes because those are going to have this lovely kind of red tinge to them. What I can never help myself from doing is just putting a tiny, tiny amount of extra virgin olive oil on the top of it because that always just helps something to sort of glisten when you finish cooking it. So that is the pilaf. Um, so that's chicken and chickpea and apricot pilaf. So, Risotto alla Milanese. I could be using onions, but a shallot is always a very delicate, delicious thing. A risotto alla Milanese 
Um, the absolute signature to that is saffron. And the next thing that I'm going to add to the risotto is actually going to be a bit of vermouth. Parmesan at the ready, you know, and this is going to need quite a bit of parmesan. You can't be stingy with the parmesan in a risotto where there's so little else going on. So my risotto alla milanese with asparagus, which um, would make some Italians swoon with horror. More um, of the parmesan and then in true Italian style, got to have a little bit of olive oil on the top of it. Now this is black rice, this is black glutinous rice. I'm making a rice pudding and it kind of makes what is um, quite an indulgence with piles of sugar, coconut milk um, and some spices in there. I'm also going to put a bit of cinnamon in there with it. The other thing that I'm putting in is some star anise and then also I'm going to put some vanilla into this. So as this rice cooks, it's going to be absorbing all those amazing spice flavours. So I've got my rice cooking there and you can see it's this amazing deep purpley black colour. But out comes the stick of cinnamon, it's done its job, got some lovely flavour in there. I'm going to, to go with my um, black rice pudding, I'm going to have some mango. I'm going to cut open some of my delicious passion fruit. Limes, absolutely delicious. And then I've got some of that um, palm sugar, which I might just sprinkle on the top there, just to give a little bit of extra sort of fudgy sweetness to it. 